welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And of course, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Yuri Lee. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date as it means a lot to both um, Yuri and me to connect with like-minded people. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, create your future, and transform your present, to expand your consciousness, understand your spiritual path, get clarity on your next steps, and take charge of your destiny so that you can fill your purpose in this lifetime. Now, each episode of this show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation and our angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Shuri Lee, about the transformative journey of healing through past life exploration, <laughs> emphasising its pivotal role in overcoming personal blocks and feelings of stagna stagnation. Now, Yuri is a highly intuitive and skilled clinical hypnotherapist who has received certifications in various modalities such as RTT, past life regression, breath work, and CHEK, holistic lifestyle practices. She is also a universal uh, Tao instructor and ceremonialist. Her heart opening sessions and ceremonies help individuals access divine wisdom from their past, the astral realm, and multidimensional space, guiding them towards healing. Now, after feeling unfulfilled as a fashion consultant in Los Angeles, Yuri asked God to reveal her true calling. During a deep meditation 15 years ago, she had a profound spiritual encounter with God that transported her physical body and soul to another dimension. In this otherworldly space, angels and demons fought for her soul's rebirth. Guides help others heal. Yuri pursued the study of various holistic health modalities, becoming a CHE check, a CHEK holistic health practitioner and began working with natural elements, herbs, superfoods, tapping into the subconscious mind and ancient healing techniques. She has also traveled to sacred sites, including the Amazon rainforest and the high Andes in search of peace and discovered that the most powerful way of achieving deep healing is through reprogramming the subconscious mind, healing from past wounds and participating in celestial ceremonies. Now, Yuri spent the last three years heavily practicing in Sedona, working with individuals and couples who traveled from all over the world to seek healing. Now located in Los Angeles, she continues to help more people through group workshops and ceremonies. Now with testimonials such as, Yuri is amazing. She is a truly gifted healer. She uses hypnotherapy and other techniques to help you identify the source of pain, your true path and the emotional. And spiritual healing you need and also Yuri is pure magic she's incredibly talented <laughs> and profound I truly feel I found treasure working with her I've uncovered many aspects related to far back in the past that feel very important so without further delay hello Yuri and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show how are you today I'm very well thank you for having me Ray Ah, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can not only share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave thoughts and comments, as both you and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. So Yuri, why don't you tell us more about your journey, which sounds absolutely amazing, and how healing with past life regression is a transformative journey? Yes. Um... Again, you covered a little bit about how I became a healing practitioner from the calling. Um, and um, I didn't know anything about healing F 18 years ago or so. I only knew I just need to be faithful to God and live a healthy life. And I was struggling with relationships, actually, at the time. I was in mid-30s, and I couldn't find any husband. And <laughs> that just kind of got me very stressful. I felt stuck with, um, I'm hitting mid-35, and um, 
I'm being challenged with the relationships. Well, like what's going on with me? What's wrong with me? And that got me to get into a deeper meditation with myself and without any kind of substances, I was able to go to this, somebody could say another dimension or somebody could say dream state or theta, however you call it. I went to this place and engaged with God and angels and demons of all. And I got my soul activated. Not that I didn't have a soul, but my soul was mostly covered with a heavy duty of a condition from my parents, society, church, and corporations, and medias, right? So even though there are always these things that I'm questioning and I'm searching for, I couldn't really understand and I couldn't really understand myself. That led me to become... Um, they say healing practitioner, working with individuals from the time. And I noticed that even though I give um, some great advice on healing your uh, body physically, because that was first thing I did as a holistic lifestyle coach, um, eat this way, eat this, don't eat that, and practice this meditations and exercise. And, you know, they would try for two weeks, three weeks, and a lot of people would give it up. And the other big thing that I noticed was that my my partner at the time had a serious, severe anger issues that was traumatizing my marriage and my children. And that was how we were trying to find the cure um, in different modalities and uh, supplements, therapies, and we went to different ceremonies and different words to find a cure for it. And that's how I actually found out that it's not about just um, what we know in conscious mind, but what is underneath is it driving because consciously we know everything. We know that we wouldn't want to shout at your partner. We consciously, we know that, you know, chocolate chip cookies, eating fiber with me is not good for you, Right. We know what's good for us and we know how to behave ourselves consciously. But because our driving force, our operation, our system within our subconscious are certain beliefs that was created from past and that is heavily driving our um, current life. And that's the reason why I wasn't able to meet my partner or some of my clients would get into a toxic relationship and can't get out. Um, toxic habits, eating habits, or work habits, and certain relationship patterns are all just kind of repeat of, I can't seem to get out of it. I feel stuck. This is how I started to go deeper into practicing hypnotherapy and regressions and uh, what's going on in our subconscious that is not letting us, even though we know in our mind, but why is this, this not really transforming? Because this belief, the belief within ourselves that was created not only from this lifetime, but from our ancestry, our generational inheritance of this belief. And on top of that, from our past life, from all these different realms and countries and spaces, I found out by regressing people that was playing a huge role because whatever that you're dealing with in your timeline right now, it's almost identical what you dealt with from your childhood or your past life. Just with different people, but it's the same patterns that I identify. Even if you are an alien from different star system. You have a, you still have this uh, same exact patterns that you're dealing with from that time. So um, I was fascinated by that. I became a hypnotherapist and I didn't really study past life, but my clients were just starting to go back to past life. They made me to become a past life regression therapist. <laughs> I started to also uh, practice in breath work because um, to, to add on uh, healing for phys physical, actually, 
And I noticed people are going back to their past life and engaging with their ancestors and engaging their uh, scenes from past. So that's another thing that I started to incorporate by um, combining them together. Yeah, that that is that's just so 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 fascinating, you know, stuff like that. That thought of you know that that thought you know that thought about you know that we could have been on another planet. Yes, you know, doing the same things, obviously in a different type of way, but but to very repeating the, uh, the 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 same patterns, which I think is really really fascinating. So, did you find that the past life was part of your um, husband's anger issues? Yeah, um, so I visited some of my past life and whether I found his wounds, I found my wounds. I found my wounds. So, for example, one of our past life um, from the very beginning of earthly life, I mean, it, it's, it goes beyond, but from mm. our earthly um engagement was I was this little mermaid who were very um, curious and naive and I loved the sparkling things and somehow my husband at the time he he knew about it he knew about it so he was dangling something very sparkly something very irresistible to to catch me alive the key for him was to catch me alive so he dangled this sparkling object and of course, I w went ahead and, and I grabbed it. And that's the same way that he engaged with me in this lifetime. He caught me alive and put it in a cage to, to, to think that he could get by being with me, having me as a mate. And um, it wasn't, that's never the answer, but that's how he thought. And because I didn't learn my lesson and he didn't, we will keep coming back as a different scenario, different settings, different countries, many different countries. Um, my, my remembrance of when, when I was separating from my ex was that I felt like I was in this um, cage and didn't have a freedom. And remembered at the time of a story of this um, goddess from my traditional story that this, this goddess from the heaven came down and they were all bathing in this waterfall, designated the waterfall. And they all had this like uh, dresses with wings attached to it. And I was staying late and my my part my partner saw my my winged clothes and he took that away he hid it so i couldn't go up and then i was just basically naked vulnerable and then he brought me home and made me to be his wife and had two children <laughs> and uh, incredibly same story that i have right now actually and um he offered me the wings back because I was such a good wife. And then I attempted to fly away with the two children. Um, and then because he was crying over something, he, he was very sad and I felt bad. I came back. Same thing happened to me in this lifetime. And in my past life, I had another children. I had the third, third child and that got me not move forward and I was trapped. In this lifetime, he wanted to have third children when I went back to him. And I tried my best <laughs> not to have sex with him, not to have a children, more children. And I got out. I got out this time. However, that time of getting out of their relationship was so detrimental, so intense, so hard. I wanted to give it up and I wanted to go back because it became so hard in every aspect of my life. So I could understand why in my past I went back. Yeah. So now I'm trying to break my karma by not going back and just not seeing him, not talking to him. Whenever I feel lonely and I feel vulnerable, 
I am trying to remember that I can't do this over and over again that I repeated thousands of years. So this is very helpful because now I have these insights from several different incidents from my past life. I know the direction I need to go because I don't ever want to repeat that again. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's that's an that's an amazing story, you know. And I'm sending you lots and lots of strength that you stay um, true to, uh, to to your to your new path. Um, <laughs> and and that's so that if you do come back again, you don't have to repeat it. Exactly. That's the thing. And ironically, when I'm seeing clients, these repeat patterns, like I just shared with you, is just uh, non-stopping. It's life after life after life again. And that stuck emotion, right? That yeah. I felt, I feel trapped. I feel alone. I feel powerless. Those stays with you because that's how you ended your life, right? And then as a soul, we want to come back actually to overcome that, but we don't have a lot of tools and guidances to move through. Some of the wounds we do go through and we do heal, as an example, a lot of people, a lot of women create um, breast cancer, which is a collective symptoms of how we've been living our life as a woman with no power and we didn't have a voice. So this is a lot of women go through that. But as women are stepping into their power and taking charge of their destiny, like your um, your your show, then a lot of women are healing naturally or even with the therapies or chemos. A lot of women are healing this breast cancer, which is related to our heart aches, heart um, pains and a broken heart are, are healing. Um, however, there are still many who are suffering with that. And it's coming from, as a woman, how we were treated as and as a victim and we didn't have a voice. We didn't take our, our, our life um, as our life. We were the sacrifice of other beings in our families. And now I see that's transforming. So it's a good news, actually. Yeah. And do you think that sort of like um, where you've sort of like you've understood that and you're moving on from that and your clients move on from that, that is going to help the next generation so that the children, the grandchildren are not going to keep be repeating those patterns? Yes. Yes. And I see this all the time. When you are healing, usually with generations, up to seven generations, and down to seven generation are being impacted. I mean, I see that because I do, all I do within my sessions and ceremonies are through theta state. And that's where the angels comes in, the ancestors comes in, your past mom, and even your living moms and dads are coming in and having an engagement with you based on what happened from your past. So there are a lot of sexual trauma, sexual abuse happened in our generations. Actually, it's not just our generation, but it just happened with my clients. My client, it's like, I am so angry at my dad for having him sexually abusing my, my, my sister or my daughter. Why, why did he have to do such a horrible thing? And then when I either regress them or doing a ceremony is what happens is you get to see why he did that. And usually he did that because he was abused as a child, either sexually or physically, emotionally by their parents or their grandparents. And you get to also see why did that grandparents did that to my father? And their grandparents were same way. They were abused same way. So this, as this person is healing, it's she's having this amazing compassion created within her heart that is affecting healing for the relationship of the father 
whether the father is an, um, able to accept that or not, but it's, it's a spreading out because again, it's a healing energy, loving energy that is the most powerful energy. So even though we can't see it and they don't ne necessarily talk back to you in our current life, it is spreading through the generations. Yeah, that that that's that's beautiful, you know, because it really does sort of like give lots of um, hope and meaning to people, you know, with, you know, with everything that's going on in the world now, it's kind of like, actually, we can create a better society by by doing the healing of ourselves, um, uh, which in turn, you know, our, our previous ancestors and, and the future future generations. So it's not a waste of time when we're doing healing on ourselves, because it's, helping the whole collective absolutely i'm a firm firm believer that when you are doing a healing work it's not only uh curing the karmas and healing your lineage but it's as it's healing your lineage both up and downs it's also um amplifying the healing energy is going widely and affecting a lot of people around, even though you don't think that, well, I'm just healing myself, but I'm like, that's the best thing that you can do it for the world. Because when you're healing, it's touching other people's hearts. And then they are being awakened because what you're putting it out there. And then they are stepping into, okay, I'm ready to heal. That's exactly what's happening collectively. Yeah, that, that's that's beautiful that, you know, that that's the work around that you are doing and other light workers myself and they're doing that, that we can that we can do that. Um, and that has that knock on effect, you know, and maybe that person then will start around doing healing, work, not just on them, but helping other people on their healing journey, which are then getting spread out and it just goes across, you know, the whole world. You know, that that's that's the idea, isn't it? We want every single living being to be doing healing and <laughs> yes yes that's right yes and, and, and being at one with each other so obviously you do lots of different modalities you've got them all into mm -hmm. one so so how would you um so if someone was to come to you um you know how how does it all work with the past life and the ceremonies and everything so because i have almost 18 years of experience in this healing um healing field i studied many different modalities past life regressions um, or private shamanic ceremonies are dedicated for more of an individual one person more private and those are sessions so i will regress you back to your past right or the ceremony will regress you back to your past and then you get to see what happened in your past. And that's exactly what you're struggling with right now. You, we, you, we find out about it and we reframe and heal, help heal continuously. Now, I'm also um, a firm believer group ceremonies are extremely powerful. So I do full moon ceremonies or collective um so source this ceremonies or so with sometimes with utilizing some herbs or uh, plants or mushrooms type of things and even though you think that you're the only person who's struggling with when two and more are gathered and we are putting intention of the healing then this whole ceremony becomes more most powerful vortex of a healing energy so it's not just the you who think that you're healing. Your words are impacting people around and you are receiving the healing from the people together. And there is some incredible synergy happening when we are doing a group ceremony. So that's another thing that, um, that I offer also Cost-wise, it's much more affordable. Uh, you can join in uh, both online and also in person. And as we're doing that also, you get to see your past. Um, so that's another great way for you to engage your past ceremonies. 
Yeah, beautiful. And I like the way you say that it doesn't need to be in person. You can actually do it online as well, because you quite often think of, you, you know, uh, ceremonies if you see them or whatever. You know, it's always in person. So it's great that it can be done online as well. Yes, absolutely. Most of individual parasitic regression can be done online. Um, the other thing that that I do is I do a card reading to take a look at your past and the future, of course. It's a part of my intuitive reading, but through picking the cards I, in, in engagement, which I'm going to share with you a little bit later about this, then you get to see a glimpse of your past. It's very quick, but you have a sense of what's happening. So you, it's opening some some areas where it feels a little unknown, unclear. Um, but very very quickly, you get to to step into into your past and without without hours of regression time. <laughs> yes, because yes. because obviously, if you're going deep into regression, it can take a couple of hours to minimum really yes. get into to to, right. to, to, all, to all the nuances and that. So go on. You've got your cards. Do read it on me. Okay, so let's see, Ray. So with your permission, I'm you going to, permission. yes, I'm going to pick just three cards today for you, okay? okay? So, because we have a certain time. So this one card represents your current state of, of uh, your, your present moment. So this represents Earth spirit. So Earth Spirit is all about um, grounding yourself and having a deeper connection with the Earth. This is where you are at. You are about grounding, stabilizing. You are about um, getting the support from, from Gaia. Um, this is where in, in this lifetime, in this current life, that will give you the most benefit, most highest good by working with the Earth elements, right? So which I can see that you're a total earth, um, earthly, down-to-earth woman. Okay, so let's see how the, the past life, um, this is one of your relation to past, past life. So, okay, what that is, warrior us. <laughs> of course. So, <laughs> so as a warrior us, um, the problem is that this card, this past card, represent um, your purpose that you are walking but you didn't get to actually finish that's why it's it's, it's a past life right you are the warrioress who are just like getting it going which is what you're doing right now right now the reason why you didn't get to do this is there were challenges that came in from 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 whatever or the whether um, open end or it could be uh, it could be your 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 love, it could be your parents or anything could be possible from this. So this is why we need to do more of a uh, private regression to understand more mm. deeply. But from the card at least you know, hey, this was who you are, <laughs> right? Or yeah. what you are associated with, and you didn't get to fulfill this purpose. So as a um, present moment, what you are doing is that you're coming here. Okay, I'm going to do this again, but with the support of the earth, right? So you're bringing in this energy, bringing these two missions together to accomplish your sword mission, right? So now there is, I'm just picking one more card, which is, to let you know how you would make this thing actually alive in this lifetime, okay? Yep. So that card is actually called Crystal Spirit. Okay, so I don't know how much you are engaging yourself with crystals, but crystal isn't necessarily about actual crystal, although I bet you love crystals and I obviously- <laughs> Yeah, I, but, don't, I don't use them as much as I should do, but I do like crystals, yes. I do have okay. many. Hmm. So what it's saying is it will accelerate as you start utilizing crystal energy. 
because it's all about bringing in the frequency higher, right? So whatever that, um, and crystal energy is also earth energy. It's all well, earth and celestial energy is put together, but it, if you work with it and it can accelerate your mission to be accomplished in this life. So it's a, it's a part of what I do. I pick maybe nine cards when I'm actually giving a session. Um, but this is actually the three cards that you get to see and understand that it's giving you some direction. Okay, mm. so it's good that I am, you know, by I am having this, this relationship with Earth. And if you're out of that alignment, then it will be hard for you. And sometimes if, the, if you don't have a lot of earthly uh, elements around, if you live in a high rise apartment or you're too much in like by the water and then you, you just get little, you know, storms yeah. and, you know, it's just not, it's just not where you want to be. You want to be a little bit more, you know, you want, you need the dirt and trees and plants around you, right? That will support yeah. you and yeah. then works with the rocks and crystals to to they are your weapons actually the crystal is gonna be this warrior's weapon to get it going in a way you're doing with your podcast because it's all about bringing you back into their power right mm -hmm. so you are um very focused which is who, who you are as a warrior is so very focused uh, and then you're you're devoted for this mission and I do feel that you're already doing a lot of that, but um, it's all about checking in your frequency, where you're at, and work with lots of crystals. Beautiful. And, you know, when you brought the Earth cards up, they, you know, they set up to one, I am a Virgo. Um, and I have my uh, moon in Taurus, so that's two uh, mm. oh. uh, two Earth. Although I do have Scorpio, so I do uh, um, have that element. But also, everyone that knows me knows that I love my trees. You know, when I get my retreat, it's going to have the trees. And ideally, it, um, if it could be near a sacred site, that would be good. But also, when I get my retreat I actually plan on using crystals to create um, a vortex so, Ooh. so so that's kind of like ties in and everyone knows I always tell people ground make sure you're grounded that is, that is my that is my catchphrase make sure mm. you're grounded today so that works out perfectly well and with some past life stuff I've got into yes there's a lot of warriors stuff that's um sort of like come up so so it's amazing you know sort of like how the cards and the energy and the intuition sort of like brought those cards out and i mean they are gorgeous cards what Thank cards you. are they it's called spirit cards um so i don't the tarot cards i feel so much that is relating to our our um you know old paradigm Although it still works, the tarot cards works great. And, and I love reading tarot cards as well and working with it. But it's, see, the base of the tarot cards are like hierarchy. There are kings and queens and queens and servants, and right? And that's how our society is structured for thousands of years whenever we started having king and hierarchy. But... When I'm giving as a spiritual counselor, that's not necessarily the way I would like to give in an advice from. So I'm bringing, I work with spirit cards. So all these cards has an element of a spirit. So um, a lot of animals, a lot of natural elements, and a lot of spirit um, connections. So in this case, the messages are coming through spirit. Yeah, beautiful, yes. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I stopped using tarot cards a long time ago, as I find oracle. I actually resonate more with oracle cards now than with with yeah with with with, with tarot cards. And I've probably got one or two or three or four, maybe quite a few more decks of uh, cards, as people know, um, out out there. So, who are those cards by? Uh, John Mosley. So his his paintings are amazing and. Uh, his um, 
his something when I was working and the um, engaging into more ceremonies. This what his his art was introduced me and continue to work with me. And uh, yeah, he's got a beautiful card. So I'll share with you what that is, but it's by John Mosley. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, no, they, yes. are, they are gorgeous cards. And you can just feel the energy coming off them as well. Yes. Exactly. Which, which, which is, which is absolutely um, amazing. So, as you did me a reading, um, yes. I like to pull an angel oracle card for my guests and those watching. So I'm going to do yes. a reading as well. Yes, thank you. Then, so, um, as always, when I do the cards, it's what you need to know for your current what's going on in the current because mm -hmm. like you I work with the past but as you as you said the past is where we learn and heal from so it doesn't affect us in the present and when I take people into the future um we learn and understand what they need to do the steps they need to take so that it doesn't affect them in the present so I always work with the um present with the cards so what does Shuri and everyone who's watching this need to know for their high good and it's limited time this year and everyone is watching this need to know their hands. Okay. Go with that one then, shall we? You have got traveling lightly, simplify your life. Okay. Simplify my life. Okay. I'm simplify. actually traveling a lot next couple of months, so I will remember that. <laughs> yes, yes. Literally. Try Tra tra travel travel lightly um and and that but i think you're kind of like already doing that anyway in simplifying mm -hmm. your your life by concentrating on your journey and and where you're going um you know you're kind of like it's getting so it's kind of like when what we've been talking about it's getting rid of all that uh, past that, that past stuff that um, it's kind of like heavy on us, this like the extra baggage and traces um, yep. with, with, with us. So, you know, it's confirmation that what you're doing is absolutely amazing um, as, as well. So it's absolutely brilliant that cards come out. And for anyone who's watching this, you know, it, it is about traveling lightly. Try simplifying your life. Life doesn't have to be so heavy, so full on you know if if you if you start to weed things out um you know you feel lighter brighter you actually can go further and more forward um with totally it. yes yes so so it's it's worth remembering just travel lightly Simplify yes your life. absolutely um I know I said literally, but I know I can't, I know it's just such an amazing um wisdom coming out of that card because we tend to have this heavy duty goals in our life to to move forward because otherwise you feel like you know it, we're not good enough right but on this journey you get to the point of a healing journey where you just surrender and just like you know what i just have everything and everything that i have is more than good enough and then it becomes just a more it just becomes a more pleasant and more happiness and peace comes from when you are making a peace with whatever that you have in your life. And then we always go for more because the association with that feeling is I'm going because I don't have enough. And that's one of the most uh, detrimental uh, beliefs that we are struggling with. We need, we need cheap, like we need more. These are all coming from, I don't have enough, but that's such a lack mentalities and we are not even aware of, a lot of us are not even aware of. We go crazy when there are a lot of sales going on with the Black Friday sales and all sorts of a sale and we get excited and we go and then try to grab as much as we can it comes up from lack, comes from I don't have enough money, so I'm going to go for it. But that action is actually keep firming your belief and it's not getting you out of the zone. So 
you know, I'm just like, it's great when I go to store and there is a sale. Great, I'll take it. But it's different than I just don't need anything. So I'm just not going to participate. Beautiful. Yeah, yes. that's that 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 that's really good. So that followed on from what my uh, card was. Um, but do, uh, do you have any other thoughts or insights to leave our viewers? Yes. Yes, I do have to share with you this new um, segment that I just started to work with uh, not long ago that came to me called Amanita muscaria. It's a mushroom from northern hemisphere. Uh, I was introduced because I have a Siberian root and somehow another Siberian Russian introduced this mushroom to me because I do a lot of ceremony. Yeah. And I've, I started to get to know the mushroom as utilizing and utilizing on my client and found out this is a past life mushroom. So <laughs> <laughs> whenever you're taking this mushroom and you take a little bit of it, as in tea or whatever, you're, you're microdosing this, this mushroom. And this is completely legal in most of the U.S. And, and I think most of the country, they, they are legal. Some countries, they are not. So you got to watch out for that. You get to go to dream state where you are completely alive and you get to see some of the scenes from not only from your life or past life, but some of the scenes from like, you don't know where it's coming from, but it is from your past. And whenever you're engaging these dreams, automatically, just by engaging, you're healing that past. It's an incredible mushroom that I got to be introduced and now I'm incorporating it. I'm putting all my clients on it. And it's like having a mini past life regression session every night. You're dreaming, you're resting, and this little mushroom spirit comes out and play a movie of your past selves for several seconds, and they take that away from you. Um, it's making my job much easier, uh, and it's, it's uh, healing a lot of people. People with suffering from depression, anxieties are having incredible results with this. And I'm so incredibly happy to be able to work with this mushroom. So I did have to add that on. Yeah, no, that is, that is so, um, absolutely fine. And if you uh, send me the spelling of it, I'll include it um, okay. in, in the comments at, 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 the end, at the end of the show. So I hope you find you've enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful because I know I definitely, you know, I definitely have, you know, I work with past life myself and it's brilliant when I get to talk to other people that are um, uh, practice doing past life because there's so much wisdom and knowledge that comes out and it sets off things. You go, oh, that's why that and that. So it's absolutely um, amazing. So Yuri, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Yes, I have a website called healwithyuri.com and you can see all my sessions and ceremony from there. I'm also on Instagram, a little bit more active than other platform uh, called also Heal with Yuri. And I do full moon ceremony, new moon ceremony once a month online. Anybody can join in. It's basically free. If you want to donate, you can, but if you need healing, but if you're struggling with finances, just join in. Uh, it's all in my web website, www.healwithyuri.com. Beautiful. And I will put uh, that, uh, that link in the comments at the end um, as well. Thank you so much, Yuri, for sharing your wisdom. It's been absolutely brilliant. So thank you so, so much. And of course, if you're now ready to remember your divine presence and step onto your spiritual multidimensional path, but you feel lost, confused or stuck alone, then please feel free to connect with me and we can arrange um, a free one to one session to see where you are now and how you can move forward to take charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar. And of course, you can receive a free future life progression recording to discover your destiny by singing into your future to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life, as well as a couple of other free gifts by signing up to my email list. Um, and again, thank you everyone so much for watching. 
And I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more people who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when this show goes live or I post new guided meditations. You know, and do follow not just myself, but Yuri on social media as well with that YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You know, and like our post, share our post, comment on our post, because every time you do that, that gets our message out there and you're helping us to help others so that the whole world starts healing. So please don't be shy in sharing, commenting and liking. It really does help and we really do appreciate everyone that, that does that for us. And of course, I look forward to seeing you all same time, same place next week. Again, thank you very much, Yuri. Thank you to everyone that's watching and take care. Bye. Bye.